What's up everybody? Phil back again. Another video here on my channel. This video I'm going to take a look at a John Deere 8520-116 scale. European edition. It's a pretty big old nice tractor and got some big old nice wheels on it. Let's take a quick look at the box before we look at that tractor and let's do that now. Alright everybody, here it is. The John Deere 8520 box. <coughs> Excuse me, by Ertl. <coughs> Standard fare for the time that this tractor came out. Cardboard, all cardboard folding flaps. Holes in there where it was tied in to the box. So that's nice for the protection of it. Um, of course on the back here it says John Deere logo, John Deere 8520 European edition. But it's a really standard fare box for the time that this tractor was released early 2000 so all right everyone let's move on to the star of the show the 8520 and let's do that now all right everybody i'm back here it is the Erta 116 scale john deere 8520 produced in 2002 by Erta. it's a pretty nice collectible um the real tractor of course the 8520 produced by john deere between 02 and 05 i believe right at the 300 horsepower threshold 305 i think on the engine i believe if i'm not mistaken pretty powerful tractor pretty big looking tractor awesome looking tractor um kind of wish that the newer ones like the 8r 410s and would have kept this design and not gotten any more rolled down hoods and grills and flat rolled everything rounded um, I do like the design and style of the look of this tractor um, in comparison to the ones today so it's pretty cool um, overall though it's nicely done I think um, European edition I'm guessing it's because of the tires I really honestly don't know what that means but I'm maybe because of the setup of the tires that, that would be my only guess but it's a uh, pretty nice little model here start off on that rear end there it's pretty heavy too the flat bar with the round hole for the hooking up an implement to it and you got a little definition like up here there's a I think that's the uh, hydraulic station of hooking up hydraulic lines um, it's not too bad back of the fenders I do not like the fenders on this thing the way they will really roll back in the way I don't like them in bow, in the way I do, because it reminds me of like the 50-20 and 60-30 fenders. So, in a way I like it weird. In a way I don't like I don't I don't like it, but in a way I do. But the fenders are green with the black outer trim. Uh, there's some brake lights here in the fender. Pretty nice. Small little slow moving vehicle sign. Back at the bottom of the cab, of course, the signature John Deere cab. There, it's pretty open too. It's not glassed in either. So that's kind of cool. Back at the top of the cab, some nice lights, and those are not decals. They are insert, inserted. Um, four post cab there, nicely done. Um, inside this here cab, ain't too bad. Black steering wheel. The uh, whole console seat and floorboard and dashboard, it's all one plastic molded piece it looks to be. But there's some nice little details in there. There's a little jump seat, side passenger seat there, the main dry operator station seat, little console on the right hand side there, some little details on it. It's not too bad. Little panel control area here on the side by the console. The foot pedals are molded into the plastic molding. Up here on the dashboard, there's a on the steering wheel column here, there's a I don't know if that's a throttle or what there. But there's neat little details for what it is on the in there that's not too bad. Decent for sure. Up here on the left hand side of this tractor, nice definition of some stairs that climb into the operator station. And this black uh, tank here right beside that. I'm guessing with the uh, no the nozzle sticking up and the cap on it. I'm guessing that's the fuel tank maybe. I would think that makes total sense that that's saddlebag fuel tanks maybe on it. Running across the middle underneath, maybe. Looks to be to me. Anyway. It's a pretty nice uh, setup there. 
Um, over here on the right hand front side of the cab, front post, you got your exhaust running up corner of that cab. Nice, nice, nice little exhaust on there. Um, your engine or your hood here, nice classic long John Deere hood, starts out narrow, gets wide at the nose. Um, it's pretty cool, nice, uh, fairly flat in comparison to today. <laughs> today's designs um, nice nicely done there um, the engine compartment it's really the tires and the fenders limit the viewing of the engine but they're the engine is partially exposed so you can't really see all of it because the big old tires and the, and the fender really hamper that to see it and, and, and it hampers me to get a good picture of it as well but uh, there are some nice decent little details on the engine area and the side of the engine here and stuff so it's not too bad um, classic long hood like I said the decal it's pretty neat um, runs from the front of the hood by the operator station all the way up to the nose um, black and green John Deere at the front by the operator station and out here uh, almost to the end of the Hood there. You got your model number 8520. The uh, front grill. Uh, I like this design of that grill on this tractor. Like I said, this isn't quite as rounded off as everything is today now with the 8R series. I like this design of this front grill and hood. I'm on front. Nice uh, grill there. Nice black grill. Um, four lights across with the John Deere logo in the middle round nice little round uh, oval shaped lights pretty neat front of there you got some nice suitcase weights as well and they're uh, molded casting into the casting I like that personally myself when they're like that not too bad um, the front end as far as details underneath there is some nice little capturing details on this front end on that thing for sure it's a lot more detailed on the front end than the rear. That is definitely no doubt. It's got some nice captured stuff on going on there. Tires on this thing. The back tires are big, pretty big old tires. Pretty deep treaded. Uh, tread points aggressively toward the front front of the tractor. I like that. Pretty nice. Or the um, wheels. Yeah, the tires. Then your wheel is a plastic, looks to be plastic, yeah, it's plastic. It's a nice inset there. Some little details on that wheel, not too bad. Front wheels have fenders on them. And for what I've seen on, on with the real tractor on YouTube and stuff, that is the exact same design as the fender with the design that's on the fender there. So that's pretty cool. That's how the real tractor is, from what I've seen. It's got the John Deere logo midway of that fender. That's pretty neat. The big front tires on the front. Big fatty, fatty tires on the front of this thing, man. Pretty big and hefty looking. Makes it real look, real men menacing looking in my opinion. Then your wheel on the front, a big old cap sticking out in the middle there, and then the nice rim has some is deep inset, and uh, not, not too bad with details. That front wheel is, seems appears to be plastic as well, but uh, of course the tires all the way around are rubber, so it's a pretty nice setup on this uh, 8520 John Deere. It man, it is really pretty stout and heavy though. It's a solid diecast made tractor. I think the hood here is plastic, but I think the rest of it predominantly. It, it, I mean, even these fenders, it's all metal, so it's pretty heavy. I mean. Considering that your wheels are plastic, not metal, but also these big fat tires give it some weight, I'm sure, in the normal tires, the thinner tires that are on some of the tractors, if that makes sense. All right, everybody, let's do a quick size comparison. Let's bring up a tractor from the Red family that's right around the same time frame. Let's do that now. All right, everyone, I'm back. Here's my 116 scale John Deere 8520 alongside my 116 scale Case IH Magnum MX220. 
this tractor be began production two or three years prior to this one. So they're right around the same ballpark and time frame. Very comparable in size, in my opinion. Um, that's why I brought this up, because they're right around the same time frame. Same uh, big looking, big um, ferocious looking tractors right here, but that John Deere especially with them big fat tires, looking at it head on, it just looks uh, very intimidating in my opinion it's pretty cool all right well let's do, move on to some final thoughts and let's do that now all right everybody i'm back Erdo 116 scale john deere 8520 european edition it's a nice replica glad i got it i got it i think off i want to say off an ebay i either got it off ebay or one of the groups on the facebook where they sell this stuff I didn't have to pay a lot for it. I don't remember what it was. I want to say it was around $50 plus maybe $20 for shipping. It wasn't super expensive, but it was in the box, so it, there ain't really nothing wrong with it at all. Considering that next year to be 20 years old, I thought I got a pretty decent deal for this thing. It's pretty sharp. Um, I do, like I said, I love the design of this thing, especially right here in the front end front grill, front front hood area, nothing's real bad, rounded or sloping. Prefer this look and style way over the 8R series, to be honest, just for me. And I do appreciate that these fenders, <laughs> like I said, it's a love-hate with these fenders on the rear, because I hate them because they're so rounded, but then I think, well, wait a minute, I like big round fenders on the 6020 and 50, and the, I'm sorry, 6030 and 5020, so kind of a love hate for me but overall I like this design it's pretty awesome all right everyone bring that camera closer take a quick look at this guy I want to appreciate everybody that tunes into my channel if you want to comment below feel free like the video feel free this is Phil y'all have a blessed day and I'll uh, probably do some more videos later in the day and I'll talk to you again soon